a worked example of module one, section 4.4, are mixed air. We frequently as tab technicians have to calculate what should the mixed air temperature be and that's to help the building automation guy that's to help the building automation guy determine if he has the right setting for the dampers. So here we have some return air coming back at 72 degrees. We want 15% outdoor air at 15 degrees. How much, what's the temperature of our mixed air after this air and this air combined? So our, our equation for mixed air temperature is equal to the percent of outdoor air times the temperature of the outdoor air plus the percent of return air times the temperature of the return air. So to substitute our mixed air temperature is going to be 0 0.15, change 15% to a, to a decimal, times 15 degrees, plus, well, if this is 15%, then this must be 85% of the mix, so we got 0 0.85 times 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and when we work that out, we get 15 times that, that's uh, 2.25 plus 61.2, and that's equal to 63.45 degrees Fahrenheit mixed air temperature. The other equation that we might use is the mixed air temperature is equal to the CFM of outdoor air times the temperature plus the CFM of return air times the temperature divided by the amount of return or the amount of mixed air so we can substitute in there suppose suppose we're talking about a 10,000 CFM unit so this is 10,000 15 percent would be one 1,500 and this would be 8,500 CFM. So we'd have 1,500 times 0.15 or times 15 degrees plus 8,500 times 72 degrees divided by 10,000 and if you work that out you'll get the same 63.45 degrees Fahrenheit mixed air temperature. So it doesn't matter which one you use whether you use the percentage this tends to be smaller numbers and easier to see so this is the one I use normally. I hardly ever use this one because the numbers get kind of big. So I don't use this one as much, but it's just as, just as useful. You can use either one. I always draw a little picture of the fan and showing, well, this is the return air, this is the outdoor air, and this is mine. So you can kind of get a different perspective on the question rather than just reading the words. Draw a little picture. Every time you can, draw a little picture of of it, just like I did in the last example, draw a picture, that makes it easier for you.